Good morning. Um, my name is Lawrence Lemawana. I'm a visual arts lecturer in the art and music department at UNISA. I'm also a practicing artist um, working with um, Gallery Afrenova. Um, my practice as an artist is that I'm a conceptual artist, but I use uh, the medium of collage in my work, um, primarily um, fabric collage, where I stitch fabrics together um, and uh, put up words. Um, my work is um, exhibited locally and internationally um, and I venture once in a while in other mediums such as sculpture, um, video and um, installation. So for the um, process of collage we use um, different types of gluing and um, fusing materials. Um, we utilize uh, firstly uh, wood glue. It's, a, it's one of the, the most kind of um, useful uh, mediums to use to glue and, and put uh, materials together. Uh, we can use normal kind of uh, stick glue um, for paper and so on. We can also utilize um, uh, tape, um, uh, primarily this uh, uh, paper-based tape that can uh, glue things together. We can even use uh, unconventional materials or unconventional tools such as the um, um, stapler to kind of put uh, things together. And then of course you also need uh, um, uh, elements such as uh, scissors. Um, we can use a, a ruler to kind of tear uh, papers um, apart. Um, one of the most also uh, important tools to use is this cutter. Um, this one is, 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 is quite dangerous, but um, you can uh, utilize it in a, in, a, in a kind of very um, safe way. Um, but it's also like a, a really a good um, uh, cutting tool to, 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 to have. And then you also often need uh, uh, drawing materials to kind of uh, supplement some of your, 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 your um, uh, cutting and pasting. Um, and often we can also use um, um, acrylic paint to kind of uh, utilize. And um, acrylic paint works well with the glue and water. And, and these are water-based materials that can dry up uh, fairly quickly and they make the, the process um, much easier. And um, you need a surface usually um, that you can work on. I've uh, chosen to use cardboard uh, like this that, you, that is quite sturdy and also can absorb a lot of materials onto it. So water wouldn't um, uh, um, break the paper apart. So when you, use your, when you find a surface, um, sometimes it's also good to, um, what we say, prime it. So you put a, a, a white um, um, acrylic paint over it so that um, it, it's easier to absorb all the materials that you're going to use. But also using a raw surface actually kind of um, helps. Um, the material that, you, that we utilize, especially in collage, is, is always experimental. So there are these basic, um, um, objects and materials that you can use but also as you go on as, a, as an artist you develop your own ideas and your own kind of tools that uh, define your your own practice so um, and so that's why I, I have such a, a wide range of, 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 of materials then the other section that that, that, that I'm going to talk about is the uh, magazines so you need a lot of printed materials such as um, catalogs um, uh, magazines um, and, and books. And these are actually quite uh, uh, interesting kind of uh, processes or, or, or materials to utilize to um, cut out, to staple on, to, um, to uh, collage with. Um, and um, um, the word collage, of course, um, is, is a French term uh, which means to kind of put things together. And that's, what, that's why we utilize the, 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 the uh, it's, we utilize the um, uh, magazines and um, flat surfaces. Okay. So collage is is, a, is an interesting um, medium and an interesting kind of like uh, visual process to take advantage of. Um, historically, uh, in South Africa, for example, um, uh, artists such as Sam Klingetwa uh, used collage because it was the most uh, available kind of um, medium to, to kind of make images with. So, for example, um, um, there were collage images from drum magazines which were available everywhere. 
they would um, utilize um, um, other kind of like um, um, uh, magazines that were um, dis disposed of and they would reuse um, them and, and, and make images out of. Um, and usually to kind of comment on their situation as, as, as black South Africans. And so um, the other uh, factor that is quite important about collage is that it's, it's, it's fairly cheap and you can um, make a lot of images out of um, a lot of uh, materials that, that, is, that is found. And um, it's also uh, advantageous uh, because um, found materials means that it's stuff that is already existing in the world that is already uh, have a, a, a history and a, and, and a, and a, and a, um, um, a function and you are just using it to kind of make your own images. And that's why uh, collage is such an interesting kind of uh, process. Um, and it, even with these um, um, uh, ideas, uh, one has to uh, develop their own idea. Um, and what, what that means is that you have to have some idea of what you want to do. So elements such as planning is important. So you can sketch um, your ideas uh, on a piece of paper, um, write some words uh, in terms of creating mind maps, and that will help you to kind of uh, control your, your process. Um, even though it's a very free uh, uh, medium where you can put a lot of information on, um, it's also good to have a, some kind of uh, a basic idea of where you want your work to go. Um, so the process of storyboarding and, um, and planning is, is also quite important. Storyboard um, means that you are, before you create the, the, the artwork that you want to create, you plan out your own processes of what you want out of um, the work. Um, and storyboards are usually used in films, but also they can be exploited in, 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 the, in, the, in the process of making. Cool, okay. Uh, now I need to go to maybe um, the one of the most uh, fundamental parts of um, collage is um, the search, looking for images that will fit into your idea. So having um, multiple um, piles of of, of um, uh, books and magazines is an important part of collecting. Your, your information, um, what we call kind of data, I guess. And um, this uh, uh, um, process also helps you to kind of allocate um, or, and put together in sections the things that you want to make your images out of. So for example, you can collect uh, a section on heads, you can have a collection on bodies, collection on buildings, collection on, on um, the different parts of, of, your, of, your, of your making. So in this case, um, this is an art magazine. Um, you'll notice that like, there'll be a lot of bodies that are, that, that'll be represented because um, of course the body is like the, the primary uh, source of information for most, for most artists. So um, you go through the process of, of searching for, for images um, that, are, that are going to work within your idea. So for example, here we've got like maybe an abstract kind of uh, uh, um, figures that um, I can see that I can exploit. So what I can do is that like I can utilize the different forms of cutting tools that I have. So a scissors um, is, is um, what do you call it, uh, appropriate in, in, in this way uh, because I want to work with the uh, Here is, a, is an image of some uh, drawing of uh, bags. Um, that can be something that I, I utilize a, a ruler where you, where you press against your surface and then you pull the image away. And that in itself is, is quite interesting. You can use a cutter where you press against your, your surface. So for example, I'm gonna use the combination of a ruler and a, um, a uh, cutter for that. So all of this information of, of, of cutting is actually a part and parcel of the idea that I want to kind of demonstrate. Um, 
And then the other uh, parts that, that, is, that are quite important is to kind of maybe also exploit the kind of gluing processes. So uh, if I'm gonna tear this image and um, kind of apply it onto the surface, uh, it also gives me a different uh, textures and different types of ways in which the, 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 the paper is going to, um, uh, what do you call it, stick onto, onto the surface like that. So nothing actually ever goes to waste with with collage. You are always kind of thinking and going through the process as you as you as you go along. Um, and then I'm going to maybe use uh, some some of this um, uh, images. Let's just say take an organic image such as the um, this the um, painting uh, palette. I'm mean, uh, painting palette to put the glue on. And then you often need some water and uh, a paintbrush, which are, which are the other instruments that I did not kind of introduce, but paintbrushes are also quite important in, 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 in collage. So here I'm going to wet my brush, um, because what you want is that you want the, the, the glue not to be as, as, as thick as, 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 as it is in, in its kind of normal sense. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to apply it onto the surface, so that's fine. So I'll put that there. And here, as you can see, this, the, the surface is starting to become a little bit more interesting. So you've got like an organic shape. You've got very kind of geometric shapes. You've got rough shapes that are, that are happening. All that is information for your, for your viewer to kind of absorb. Even the, 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 the text that appears on, onto the paper becomes a visual kind of uh, uh, material to, to work from. So the reading becomes in multiple layers. Um, so your viewer is given uh, as much uh, information as, as, as possible. The other element that I also wanted to kind of maybe exp uh, exploit and show you is also using, uh, supplementing your, 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 uh, your collage with paint. So you can put um, paint over there. And again, everything that I'm using here is um, water-based. So it makes the process very much easier. And it also, wh wh why I'm saying it makes the process much easier is that the, the materials are all related to each other. So here I'm gonna put some paint to kind of maybe create a, a shape that is organic to echo that um, little kind of element. Um, and then maybe uh, I'm going to put some white paint, of course, to um, create maybe some highlight. So, so as you can see, um, I'm not too uh, uh, precious about the, 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 the papers. I'm just exploiting the kind of inherent qualities of, of the materials. And what I mean by about the, the, the inherent qualities of materials is that there are qualities that are, that are in, in the, in the, uh, uh, in the um, paint that is that I'm using. So the fact that like I can, for example, uh, utilize wet paint and I can smudge onto there kind of also speaks of, of a visual kind of uh, language. Um, the other element that is also important is that you can even uh, draw onto the surface. So collage is not strictly um, strictly uh, uh, a, a kind of, uh, um, what do you call it, a uh, vector-based subject. You can also uh, uh, do drawings onto there to support uh, what, you, what you're working with. And all of these is, 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 is interesting and, and important kind of materials. So for example here, I'm, 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 I'm applying this, um, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, crayon onto the surface. And what it does then, it, it gives me another form of information that, is, um, that I can kind of take away. So it's, it's, it's a, it's a you, you can uh, add onto the surface, but also you can subtract onto the, sur onto the surface and create interesting kind of uh, dialogues between your different materials. The other part that I need to show you as well is this is a very, um, uh, what do you call it, a, a non-traditional medium. It's a, it's a stapler um, and, and you can basically open up a stapler. It'll still function in, in, in a similar way as a normal stapler, but you can, uh, for example, let me just break this off like that. So there I can take uh, the different cardboards and then I can, um, how do you say, I can staple onto the surface. 
So if I don't want to use uh, the, the, the water-based materials, I can, I can uh, create a, a, a surface onto there. So you see how, how that, that operates. You can create interesting textures just by accident. So it's a very, um, uh, what do you call it, organic process where the accidents actually work in favor of developing your visual kind of process. So um, as indicated in the, in the beginning, um, collage is a very um, easy and accessible kind of um, um, visual process to kind of exploit, to take advantage of for, 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 for students. Um, um, and what is, what, what is interesting about the, the medium of collage is that it's a very generous kind of um, um, medium in terms of like utilizing or using cheaply found uh, and accessible kind of materials to make images. So, um, so you have to have a, a, a lot of um, magazines to kind of uh, uh, take images out of, uh, a lot of kind of printed materials to take um, uh, images out of. So not only magazines, um, but also newspapers and all those kind of uh, uh, processes. And it's also quite good to have, um, how do you say, um, a different kind of uh, 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 elements such as paint, um, uh, cutting materials and so on. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's also a, a good kind of uh, process to kind of allow students to kind of think on the, on, 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 um, in the creative process. So it's not a, a separated kind of process. It's all uh, on the table, all kind of like uh, in, in the same kind of space. So um, it's good to encourage experimentation so experimentation is actually central to to uh, the process of, of of collage because it means that like it's it's free thinking. You are you are creating uh, images with what is available, and you are um, um, uh, making uh, images uh, that are actually not planned sometimes. So the, 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 that's why I, I, I say experimentation um, and uh, developing ideas through the process. So 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 it's not about creating. Uh, ready-made ideas. It's about how the process actually allows for, for, for students to kind of like learn on, 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 on the ball. But it's also good to practice some of these things. So for example, the idea of, 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 of gluing uh, uh, um, um, and, and, and putting materials together is that you need to experiment with that uh, uh, prior to, the, to, to the, the, the project. So as I said, like you can actually uh, use uh, traditional and non-traditional kind of gluing materials such as staplers, you can utilize um, glues, you can utilize even uh, uh, what do you call it, um, acrylic paint as a gluing medium. So you can actually put things together. And then the other factor that is that I didn't uh, mention a little bit earlier is that also you can utilize even um, strings and, and other uh, drawing kind of processes to kind of add to, 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 the, to the process. The, the idea is that, is that, is, that is, is, is to kind of like allow that flow of ideas so it's not um, uh, kind of like limiting the thought process of, of, of the students. They kind of uh, 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 create on, on, on the surface as they go along.